Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play of Rogue Galaxy. So I have uh, Kassala and Zegram with me this time, and I'm going to be starting up the B rank of the uh, Insectron tournament. I did level up my uh, Insectors off camera, and they've reached the ace level, which is like the final level, but they can still get stats from uh, winning fights. So uh, their stats aren't completely maxed out yet. Ladies and gentlemen! The B rank match is about to begin. Competitors and their rare insectors are going head to head. Are you ready to battle? I should Here be. Here comes the first round. I mean, my uh, Pegasus one has like all of its resistances maxed out. Uh, in fact, I'll even show it right here. As you can see, uh, 100 for knockback, confusion, cut, explosion, you know, all that. And then it also has 100 strength, and 100 is the highest that those stats can go. So, anyways, I'll choose the same insectors as usual, and then uh, set them up the same way as well. And now, this should be interesting. Of course, I'll start off by moving them all forward Let's one. Let's play fair and square. There we go. All right. Huh. I ought to get rid of the, uh, yeah, those ones right there that do that are definitely a little bit of a problem. So I'll attack this one. Okay. Uh, I think that my king can get rid of it. Hopefully. Almost. My grasshopper then can get rid of it. Elton. Good. Now I'm gonna heal my Pegasus. Even though uh, it probably would have been smarter to save the heal for later, but I don't want to wait. How's that? I always prefer to have these guys attack me first. So that way, uh, on their turns, I can hit them with all my characters. You know, the ones that have the little shields with them. Or balls, whatever you want to call them. Uh, okay, so let's do this. Uh, throw this guy off the board. And then... Get rid of this one. If I'd done things slightly differently... Hmm. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I, I'm not fond of what's going on here. I hope that Feather doesn't die. I don't think Feather will, but... I should have definitely done it differently. Uh, yeah, let's end the turn right there. What? Okay, good. Let's have Elton move back one and wait. And then have Mikey heal my uh, insectors. Good. Special move, crushing horn on this guy. And how much HP does it have? I guess I could find out here by just using an attack. Yeah, this should defeat it. Good. I don't know what happens if uh, an sector on my team dies before the next round. Like if it'll be revived or not. Strong. I know that everything else is reset like they're, uh, you know special moves and stuff so they can use them again but that's what those little dots above their heads are or hp bars are rather the bout is over you've won congratulations so now we're moving on to round two that that round was kind of tough let's keep going oh, it's this guy on to the second round this ought to be interesting henry <laughs> Angel Mio, uh, and all the other ones that he had. What were they called? 
Uh, so you had Angel Mio, Mio Thra, Honey Mio, and Sweet Mio, as well as Henry Jr. Very weird. Let's go with Amora again as the king. And for this one, I'm actually going to start off the match. <laughs> I hope you're watching this, my dear Mio. I'm going to start off this match with an end turn. Almost, dude. Almost. And that's because I knew that they could reach me. Okay, going for my king again. I figured that they would, though. Okay, I'm gonna move my king down one, just like that. And then move... Uh, wait, I'll wait on that. Let's attack with the uh, feather here. Good. Now I'll move my key here and heal my king. And just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna giant leap over here with him. And move one over like this with him and end the turn. Almost, dude. Almost. Okay, here comes the poison. Darn. I was hoping Amora's defense against poison would be high enough by now. Okay, this ought to get rid of this one. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. How much HP does it have? They're in 65. I might be able to get rid of it with Crushing Horn. Yeah, I was able to. Uh, as for this... Hmm. Nah, I, I think I'll heal again. Let's be on the safe side. And then the turn. Yikes! Darn. Even with 100 resistance... Uh, it's a poison. Feather still got poison. Okay, now I'm starting to... Starting to regret some decisions that I made. Um... You know what? I have to get rid of this one. No matter what. And I can also get rid of... The, uh, butterfly, too this turn with my king. Okay, now I'll start moving Shiron over here, and I'll end the turn. Yikes! Okay, I'll, uh... I'll end the turn again. Yikes! Just like I was hoping. So, just to be safe, I'll, uh, use a healing jig here. And I'll use special move giant leap from over here. Do this. And hope that the scissor throw works. It did. Okay. In some ways I could have done that better, but it wasn't too bad overall. Oh, how disappointing. Oh. Things are really heating up in here. Time for the third round. I didn't know Grand Cheese could get beards, and it's a bunch of uh of horses. So for this one, what I think on, I'll do let's play. is end the turn first. As if. Yeah, I knew that they they can only move forward two pace uh, spots at a time. So if I do this right, uh, they won't be able to do too much damage to me. Let's move here. Can I get rid of this one? Yeah, I can. Oh wow, exactly the amount of damage I needed. Uh, let's wait there like that with him, and move here with him, and I think if I move Elton down one, and then end the turn, it should be good. 
As if. Yeah, they're gonna start ganging up on my uh, my king now. Ha ah, ha! You failed. Okay, I can definitely get rid of this one. Uh, but other than that, though, let's let's do this. And then, okay, I've got an idea. Special move, wait, move here. And then use the special move giant leap to jump over to here. I hope that this works. It may not. But if it does, that would be awesome. Great. And now to see what the parameters are on this one. 252, huh? I'm gonna just go here and heal. And then end the turn, right? Yeah, automatically ended it for me. It's almost dead. And that means that it'll end on this turn, probably. So let's go ahead and attack him. Yay! And throw this one off the board. No! Oh well. I'll heal ya. He almost succeeded. Uh, yeah, I'll just do that again. And throw him off the board one or attempt to throw him off the board again. If it doesn't work, then I'll have to. Okay, that's that's all the attempts for that. Let's just use crushing horn. Um, how much HP does it have now? Turn 57. Okay, I'm gonna move back right here and then uh, end the turn. I've won. I just was looking for a quicker victory. A slightly safer one, too. Because I'm worried about counterattacks. Even when I don't really need to be. If only I was stronger. On to the fourth round. Now we're getting to the best part. Here comes the fourth round. Start! And the usual setup, of course. Now, this enemy has a bunch of uh, stag beetles that can throw you. My so I have to be... In the galaxy. I have to be a little bit wary of that. I'm going to stretch his uh, forces down <laughs> by deliberately ending my turn here. Yeah, by having him come to me instead, uh, it doesn't give him as many chances to throw. <laughs> There is still some inherent danger to it, though. Uh, I'll end the turn one more time. There we go. Please deal enough damage. Eh, it might be enough damage to knock it out in the next fight, or next turn, or whatever. Okay. Uh... Now the question is, is do I dare attack with my king? Ooh, I did a fair amount of damage. Let's uh, use Crushing Horn. Okay, good. And now I can finish this one off. Wow, that worked out better than I thought it would. Uh, I'm gonna move down one step with uh, my you know, healer. Uh, getting a little bit risky. 
Now, if this was a human player, the human player would have had this guy throw him backward like that, and then that way it would isolate him from all of my, uh, you know, other insectors, and then I'd be in real big trouble. But, uh, thankfully, this is not a human player, so I can do that. Now, let's get rid of, uh, this one, too. Wow. I'm gonna take two to this one out. Turn 20. Yeah, I'll wait on that. I'll also start moving mine, uh, over there. Uh, you know what? Let's use Giant Leap to go over... Actually, I don't even need to use Giant Leap. I'll just go up one. And end the turn. I'm dumb! Of course the computer was gonna take advantage of that. Ah! Oh well, I had to make a mistake like that sometime, eventually. I'll find out uh, in the next round if Elton is there. Or if he's permanently lost to me. Well, not permanent, but, you know, for the rest of this tournament anyways. Let's move over one with uh, him and end the turn. Uh, now let's do that, and this, special move, scissor throw, good. Now the question is, is will Elton get any, like, stat increases just for being in the fight or not? How mortifying! Okay, Elton did get some stat increases, so that's nice. He didn't lose out on that. But we'll find out if he's in our party still. And the fifth round, here we come. Here we go! It's the final round! Uh-huh. <laughs> Beetle Dumb, Beetle D, Beetle Doe, Beetle Da, and Beetle Dork. That's funny. Uh, use the same layout. Okay, he's still there. So I don't have to worry about them getting knocked out as long as I actually win. That's, that's great. Uh, yeah, this layout's great. That actually, uh, relieves me quite a bit, because I've always been worried about losing any of my insectors. This won't be easy for you. Uh, so now I have to worry about this guy right here, Beetle Da. Uh, but I think in preparation, I'll move right here, and then end turn. This is it! Okay, good. Beetle Dodd didn't do anything so far. How much HP does it have? Uh, 484, huh? Mm. Uh, I'll end the turn here again. Go! It'll definitely shoot this time, though, right? Yeah. Ugh. Uh. Move back one. Actually, I've got a better idea. Let's go over here with my uh, healer. Here with him. I just messed up. I've got to. I've got to move now with him too. And I'll uh, end the turn. This is it. I shouldn't have moved my healer so far away from uh, my king. Okay, good. It wasted a, its ability. I use crushing uh, horn on that, and believe it or not, I'll end the turn right there. This is it. Ugh. Okay, so far so good. This is actually working out really well. Darn it. That's not so good. Um, so what I need to do is I need to get over to where my, uh, my king is with my healer. But I need to do it in such a way... You know what? Okay, I've got an idea. Giant leap over here, right? 
and then do this. Special move, scissor throw. Good. Move down here like this. Get rid of this guy, right? Actually, wait a second. How much HP does this one have? 190. You know what? Let's get rid of that one first. Then worry about the other. Because I have a feeling that this one is the bigger threat. Now I can move here and heal. Good. Still not uh, the best situation in the world, but it's better than it was. So now I'll move uh, here like this with him and here like this with him. I'll move Feather down here and start beating up this guy. And I should be able to defeat it with Mikey, my healer. Oh no! I mistakes were made. Are you serious? Okay, thank goodness that it didn't attack. Uh, let's do that. Darn it! Okay, I'll go here and attack instead. Now I'm going to heal everybody. It's a shame that Feather is uh, in range, but it's fine. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna just leave Feather right there. End the turn. Are you serious? Darn you. Okay, let's move one down. No, wait a second. This is bad. This is actually kind of bad. Hmm. How much HP does this guy in the back have? Beetle Dumb. 600? What about this guy? 300. Okay, I've got to be careful about how I approach this. But I do have a new plan now. So let's go back one like this. And uh, then go here with him. And end the turn for now. Are you serious? Yes, I am. Okay, so I should be able to get rid of this guy. Uh, hopefully. Darn it. Of course I wasn't able to. And here we go. So now I've got another big decision to make. Who needs to be healed more? Uh, you know... I think that my that my scissor throw guy here needs to be healed more, so. Oh no, I messed up. How could I have made such a big mistake? Oh well. End the turn. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm wondering that too. Let's uh, move down one here like this. I'm not even gonna... Oh, actually, wait. I've got an idea. Move up here. Crushing horn. At least that way, if things don't work out, I can still defeat him the normal way. Good. Made a couple mistakes that time. But I still won, so that's all that matters. Now I'll move on to the but ghost I was ship. So, sure I would win. so what's the prize oh, gonna be this time? We have a new B-Rank champion! Ladies and
Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause! Yay! It was definitely tougher that time. For different reasons. I mean, me messing up a couple of times there didn't help. So I obtained new weapons for Kasala. That's nice, especially since she's with me right now. So let's uh, go to the ghost ship. Hey, here we are. I'm going to talk to them very fast. Who does that guy think he is? I've never seen anyone that obnoxious. Next time we see that long-haired punk, let's ring his scrawny neck. There ain't room in this game for two smart aleck characters. Okay, great. Okay, so we should go down there. Maybe another boss fight? Oh no! I wonder it'll, what it'll be this time. We are transported into distant memories again. So this is... Oh, this is on Zerard, right? Here it comes. Not again. One of the towers Come on, on Zerard. See if you can take us. Uh, let's go ahead and use Drunken first. Uh, and now I think about it, one of these bosses had like some crazy area of effect attack. All right. So I should this stay back away from it for now, anyways. Oh, I thought it was about to charge me. Um, let's go ahead and have him heal her, at the very least, and himself. Oh, nope. Let's go back to using Illusion Sword again. And... There we go. Drunken burst with him and heal everybody afterward. Oh. Uh, okay. Darn it. Oh, wow. Wow, that was, uh, really close to getting me. Darn it. Whoa. That is not the area of effect attack I was talking about. Well, I'm in trouble. Uh, I think I can revive people from here, though. Sorry. Yeah. And I may as well heal from here, too. Crazy. So now I should use Drunken Burst. And another illusion sword. There we go. I just want to stay back as far as I can from this thing. Oh, I, I should have seen that coming. Whoops, I didn't mean to enter this menu again, but I'll take advantage of it. Okay. And, uh, oh, somebody's action gauge is too low. So, ah, that's how that works. Okay. You can actually use Jaster's action gauge from that menu, even while he's, uh, you know, knocked out. That's pretty cool, actually. Just a little bit more, and I'll, uh, yeah, I'll win. Excellion shards and stealth pills. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go back and save for sure because that was a tough fight. Hopefully I don't run into monsters before that I get there. Okay, I got here. There we go. Now I need to actually go and buy uh, some healing items and stuff. Because I am starting to run low on, like, revives and healing potions. I mean, I'm not completely low, but, you know, they can go pretty fast can't underestimate in some fights. How do you get in this shit? Uh, nothing there. Nothing down there. I don't think that there's anything along the sides there, so... Be careful. We could be dealing with more than just beasts here. 
Wonder Kongs and Cosmo Cores. Let's uh, get rid of them. With Lightning and uh, Starshine. That should do it. Don't ever try to show off in front of me, you damn beast. Okay. There's two path. Oh wait, no. There's only one path. I thought there were two. I bet the butler gave you his whole spiel about being chosen as a successor, right? He does that to everyone. <laughs> Did you see that the stud that passed through here earlier? He just might have what it takes to reach the treasure. She's obviously talking about that other guy. There's something about that guy. Uh, let's see. Can I get anything down there? I don't think there's anything in this room. These big rooms rarely ever have anything in them. I'll take you. Hades on. monk and white wall. I think that's what you it said, I'm right? So easy? Yeah. The bastards. Okay, first of all, the monks need to have their shields removed. And now I can get rid of them with the lightning, probably. And I need to use uh, Star Shine to finish it. Now, as for this big guy here, I'll uh, wait a second and. He's drunken first. I just noticed that the Hades monk is still alive. So I'll get rid of him. There we go. Good. That's the end of that. Ooh, an elixir. Nice. I can heal uh, Zag Zagram. Because he definitely needs Sorry it. Okay. Now, the question is, is... Is there anything in here? Oh, there's still a person over still here. Still haven't gotten all the way in yet? We were searching for a planet made of gold, but along the way, this strange black mist wrapped around us. And then... Huh. A planet made of gold. Um... Let's keep this pace up. Okay, nothing there. Now this room is slightly different, isn't it? Oh, never mind. It's not as different as I thought it was. I'll never understand the rich. He already had so much treasure, and yet he still wanted more. Uh, should I jump down here? No, I shouldn't have. Oh well. Here they come. Wonder Kong is easy enough to get rid of. I wonder, uh, I could probably be using uh, that one ability That's with Jaster and Kasala. I already forgot what it's called, though. It seems like we want a good way in, but... Premier Toy Box. Try Resurrection. Ooh, that'll allow me to heal. There we go. The last one can be disregarded or discarded. Okay, so this room also needs to be examined thoroughly. There's nothing down there from what I can tell. Uh, anything up there? No. Okay. Time warps. This place is trouble. You think I'm gonna go easy? Okay, those two no longer have their shields. Come on, you. Get rid of his shield. There we go. And Faded Passion is the ability I was thinking of. It did not get rid of all of them, unfortunately. That's how you get it done. Ooh, an elixir. You can restore some of these AP with that. I'll, uh, restore Kasala's. Her AP is lower. Master Erebus was a kind man, until he developed that strange fixation with his treasure, that is. Hmm. Okay. We still haven't gotten 
all the way in yet? So I wonder if we really want his treasure if it did something weird to him. Because I'm assuming something in his collection, like, made him go crazy. Eh, I doubt Dor can go care until it actually is too late. Okay, so... Obviously, we're gonna have to do some backtracking a little bit later, but I have a feeling that we're getting really close to that save point. I'll take you on. Oh, new enemies. Um, first of all, let's see how much damage we can do with this. And may as well do this as well. Okay, good. I can use that recharge drink on That's Jack the end right of that. I'm surprised to actually find one of those. Sun key. Strength star. Nice. Hmm. That guy. Did he come on board by himself? Nothing else in this room? Not even NPCs? Okay. Let's go this way then. I'm assuming that the save point is in the next couple of rooms here. And that's there's the star finally. There's there quite a ways away still. If we get the treasure. There we go. Chaining blades. New weapons for uh for Kasala there, I think. They should have actually uh made so I could see him, but I'm pretty sure that's what they are. Let's do this and another lightning. I think that that'll finish him. Yeah. A shop! And the save point, just like I thought. We're from a family of gnome peddlers traveling across the galaxy. Would you like to buy something? This is a gnome? Huh. Okay, so this is its entire stock, so I'll stock up on healing items. There we go. Unfortunately, no tri charges or regular charges. Hmm. Now let's backtrack for that other path. Okay, I'm almost at that uh, split path there. Let's uh, do this. Here they come. And then this to finish him off. Uh, come on, try. Oh, they have shields. I'm dumb. Darn it. And they're not helping because they're not breaking the shields. Oh well. Now they should be finished off. Even though I probably don't need to do this, I, I prefer to just finish it quickly. Don't ever try to show off in front of me, you damn beast. Here's the split path. Oh, give us the treasure. Is he serious? Uh, okay. And up here, nope. Nothing. Oh. In some ways, it may be harder to spot some of these treasure chests because. You have to look around the corners. Yeah, you know, usually come. when you enter Bastards. rooms in this dungeon, uh, the treasure chests are like ahead of you. I knew we were gonna win. In such a way where as soon as you enter the room, you can see them. It's pretty rare for them to not be. Okay, there's some treasure chests over there. Uh, what about down there? Nothing? Okay. Give me. Crystal staff. Zeranium. Be careful. We could be dealing with more than just beasts here. And perfect heal times two. Huh. Okay, cool. Let's jump up here very fast just to make sure. Yeah, I didn't think so. 
I, I don't think there was anything down in that area, right? There have, yeah, there haven't been any treasure chests in those types of areas yet. Doesn't mean that there can't be, but... Here they come! I really hope I get another recharge strength. Here they come, bastards. It'd be very, very nice. Everyone okay? Darn, just to try heal. Not that you know it's bad to get those or anything, but not what I wanted. Galactic compass. Like there really is treasure. Okay, nothing down there. I just have two more rooms to search and then I can backtrack to a save point. Uh obviously there's one right there. Still haven't gotten all the way in yet. Resurrection times three. I don't really need those, but. They would have been helpful earlier when I was lower on uh, resurrections. Plasma first circuit. Okay, so now I'm back in this one central room. Not central, but easy? this one open room here. Uh, it's very close to where the save point is. Come on, try. So me. I'll be heading to that save point uh, after this fight. I gotta just open up the map to see where it is specifically. Uh, let's see. Okay, so if I go down through this room and then follow the hallway, I should get to where that save point is there and then I can teleport over to the other one. I managed to reach the save point without getting into a single fight. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. So. Let's go to Hall 4, save, and then into the uh, next room, which I assume has a boss fight. Okay. There's another one of them glowing circles, so. Oh, no. The group is transported deep into the dis into distant memories once again. Is this going to be like a Vidan fight this time? No, it's still Zarar. The other the other enemy. Now this is the one that had the area of effect ability. Oh no, no I can Here we go. Okay, on, let's uh take us. do drunken burst again. Alright, let's get this over with. And illusion sword. Oh, I wanna get into that. Yeah. Yep. Hey, you guys better be pulling your weight. I definitely remember that. Why is it doing... Okay, there we go. Darn you. This is definitely not an easy fight. There. I dealt some damage. Let's uh, heal everybody. And you know what? I'm gonna have Zagram use lightning. Just to see how much damage it does to this guy. Not very much. Uh, let's do Illusion Sword level 2. Darn you. Whoa! I was not expecting him to appear like that. Struck it first again. Oh great. Let's revive him. Sorry about that. And hope that he doesn't keep getting knocked out. This one's just ridiculous. I hate you. I'm pushing our luck too far here. I hate you so much. Let's uh use this prior resurrection. Do this. There we go. What is it doing? Oh, it got its sword stuck on the, in the stone or whatever that's over there. That was weird. And 
why is it recommending Death Break? Isn't that an insta kill ability? Whoa! Oh no, I don't want to be that close. This ain't funny. You're right, it isn't. Uh, let's do perfect heal. And then drunken burst again. Oh no! Darn you! Let's have her uh, use Tri Resurrection. Oh wait. Come on, die! Darn it. Where is it? There it is. Drunken Burst again. And... Illusion Sword. Finally. That enemy is not a joke. That, that one's definitely pretty tough. Anyways, I'm gonna go save and then I'll be stopping. Okay, yeah, so thanks for watching. The next time I play, I'll uh, go on to the... A, is it rank A tournament? Uh, yeah, rank A tournament of the Insectron. And then, of course, explore more of the ghost ship. So, thanks again. See you next time, and bye-bye.